Meet David, an ordinary American guy looking for love in an unexpected place. Well, the profiles don't say too much about him. I consider myself an affectionate, sociable, thoughtful, and good-tempered lady. I would like to know a cultured gentleman, independent, hardworking, affectionate, sporty man who likes to be with the family. Bien coqueta, bien coqueta, bien coqueta, eso. David will meet women like Edna, a 21-year-old nurse from Barranquilla, Colombia. Acuérdate que el man te está mirando a través del lente mío, ¿ok? Edna will meet people like David, hoping to make one of them her husband. In a few days, 10 American men will fly all the way to Colombia to find a wife. They will meet hundreds of women, hundreds of Ednas. I have never gone on one of these romance tours, ever. I'm really looking forward to the experience. A little nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. ¿Estás lista para lo que venga, qué? Así es el chico malo. No, no, eso no. Es una persona responsable, super serio. Okay. But what are the chances of finding love this way? And just how far are some people willing to go? America, it can be inspiring and beautiful. It can also be dark and ugly. It's so many things, but it's ours. It's our America. You know, some people find love at work or school or at a bar, but other people are going on tours, marriage tours. Let's go inside. These affectionate couples are on their way to a romantic day at the beach. It looks like they're in love, but how could this be? They all just met less than 24 hours ago. So who are these people, and how did they get here? This is Colombia, a country once known for drugs, kidnapping, and rebel wars. Now it's the newest frontier in a worldwide business of marriage. And there's a whole industry set up here to welcome interested men. Meet Yami, manager of the Colombian branch of a foreign affair, or AFA, an international introduction service. For a few thousand dollars, AFA introduces men to foreign women through organized trips they advertise as romance or marriage tours. Once upon a time, these women would have been called mail-order brides, but today, when you type those words into the internet, you get companies like AFA. At first glance, AFA's website looks like it's selling a lot more than marriage, but this year alone, AFA has introduced over 787 couples who ended up getting engaged. I know that a lot of people are coming to Colombia to find wives. What is it about Colombian women that American men find so appealing? Because I think we are down to earth, family oriented, loyal, faithful. They just want to be with the person they love for the rest of, of their life. That's what I, my conclusion about what are they coming to Colombia. But how do you fall in love with someone who doesn't even speak the same language? Was this really just sex for sale? And who are these men paying money to meet beautiful Colombian women? I was about to find out at the general orientation for the tour. You're gonna see so many beautiful, beautiful ladies that it's gonna be so overwhelming for you guys. Over the course of a single week, the 10 men on this tour will meet hundreds of women and maybe, just maybe, find love, if that's what they're really looking for. Remember why you came here, remember what your goals are. You know, what you're looking for, you know, someone that wants to, you know, start a family. So don't forget that, because the guys go, and suddenly they got these beautiful women in front of them, and they throw out all their criteria. You know, I have this saying, you know, love makes you blind, but lust makes you really, really stupid. So guys, far, this all you know, feels legit. Formal offices, orientation, no, talk of marriage. Yet more than half of these men asked us not to reveal their identities. I talked to a couple of the men. Some of them actually seem to be here to find love, to find a spouse, to have a family with. And whether those are in fact their intentions or not, that's what they are expressing that they want to find. So. But if these men were just looking for love, why did they need to travel almost 2,000 miles to another country to find it?
be honest with you, I think I'm just an average guy. I don't think there's anything really special about me. Average height, average weight, average looks, you know. So as far as what I have to offer, I just think I have a pretty good personality. And I think I'm a friendly person and a, an open person. David is a 49-year-old civil designer living in Houston, Texas. He's been married twice. The first lasted 19 years, the second less than four. First marriage, she was a good wife. She's a good woman. We were very happy together. Even our friends all thought there's no way we would ever get divorced. It's just unfortunate that things changed and the marriage ended. I met my second wife on the internet. We got married about nine months after meeting each other. She was a very jealous woman and she treated my daughter very poorly. Called her a lot of bad names and I just couldn't tolerate that anymore. David has dated for two years now, but he still hasn't found anyone special. I know there's good American women out there, but the only ways you can go to really find somebody is go to a bar, go to a nightclub. A lot of men and women, they just want to hook up. That isn't what I'm about. I want to date to somebody to find a life partner. David has traveled extensively. He's been to Colombia before, and he finds Colombian women warm, welcoming, and family-oriented. For David, going to a foreign country for a one-week marriage tour is nothing to be embarrassed about. It's just one more way to meet women. David already has a date lined up with a woman named Celia. I'm looking forward to meeting her. And she speaks no English. And I speak little English. I mean, a little Spanish. And, uh, but I am going to have an interpreter there. And so that's how we're going to communicate. David's friends think he's nuts. His mother's skeptical. And his 19-year-old daughter, Laura, thinks her dad has lost his mind. I told him he was crazy. I mean, I think the whole trip is a great opportunity to have fun and meet women that could be possibilities. But at the same time, it's just not the greatest possibility that he'll find someone who's going to last forever. David and his daughter agree on one thing. He's stuck in a rut, and he's got to get out. Am I lonely? No, I'm not lonely. But I'd love to come home and be able to talk with somebody and uh, interact and have that bond with somebody, be able to do things on the weekends that you really don't want to do by yourself. So that would give not meaning to my life, but just more happiness, I think. So David's about to take a huge leap into the unknown. In a few days, he'll fly almost 2,000 miles to Barranquilla, Colombia. He'll meet more women in one week than a lifetime in Houston. But marriage tours aren't only for men. For Colombian women, signing up is free, and some think it's a fun way to meet interesting foreigners. Just over two years ago, 25-year-old Karen met an American through a Colombian agency unconnected to AFA. The relationship was promising in the beginning. He sent me a letter and a bouquet of flowers in the month of February. And 15 days later, he came to meet me. Right away, he told me he was thinking very seriously about me. We went out for three months. After that, we went on a trip. And that's when I became pregnant with Tania. So I told him, well, now I'm pregnant. Now we do have to marry. So were you in love with them, the baby's father? Yes, a lot. I said this is the perfect man for me, the man God chose for me. And really, I was very much in love and truly thought that it was going to be a perfect family. But it wasn't to be. Karen discovered that the love of her life and the father of her child was already married. Not only did he have a wife and children back in America, 
Karan also found out that he had a second wife here in Barranquilla. What is it like to look at his pictures? I would love for him to be with me and my daughter, to have the family that I always dreamed of. Even though U.S. law requires men who go on marriage tours to fill out criminal and marital history forms, in Karin's case, her suitor's adulterous past never came to light. So you haven't lost faith in American guys? I guess that what happened to me could happen with someone from here or anywhere else. We have to allow for opportunities. I shouldn't close myself off because I'm young and I want to find a person with whom to fall in love and later marry. Some people might think these women are just hunting for a green card. But it seems like Karen is looking for love. But will she really find what she's looking for by participating in a marriage tour? It's not only American men who are traveling long distances for dates. David's date Celia lives five hours away from Barranquilla by bus in an unstable region referred to as the Red Zone. Widespread drug trafficking and years of violence in Colombia haven't made her search for a husband any easier. She's come all this way just to have lunch with David. In a few hours, David will be thrown into a room with almost 100 beautiful women at the first big social event of the week. But first, David meets up with Celia for their lunch date. Hey, all right, David, how are you feeling about this date? She's here. Quite nervous, actually. I wasn't until I saw her, and now, now I'm nervous. <laughs> Unlike some of the men on the tour, David's looking for someone close to his own age. Celia is 42. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> Very beautiful. She thinks you have a great smile. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good, I did not scare her. Dice que bueno que no te asustó. For whatever reason, I can't say why, I just thought she was somebody I wanted to, to meet solo. And I only did this with her, nobody else. I have never gone to watch someone go on a date, but David and Celia are behind me, and looks like it's going fairly well. It's kind of cute, actually. When David saw her, he just thought she was gorgeous. She said that in order to have a relationship that works, it's very important to have somebody that's faithful. Good communication, yeah. supportive, all those, See. and trusting. It, has she been married before? She has not been married, but okay. she lived with somebody. But he didn't want to be just with one woman. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Is that typical here? See, it's very common. The date seems to be going just fine, that is, until the proverbial bombshell drops. She wants to know if you have in your plans to have any more children. I can't have any more children. I had a vasectomy. Yeah, there's no, no chance for me. No puede tener más hijos. Él tiene la cirugía de vasectomía. No tiene la posibilidad. Sorry. <laughs> yes, thank you. I know she said, I think in one of her emails, that she wanted a child, but it's hard to translate sometimes. Is that something very important to her? In her case, it's very important. Yeah. yeah. She likes to have a child. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As the date comes to an awkward and uncomfortable close, it was clear that like Karen, Celia wasn't just hunting for a meal ticket to America. She wanted more. She wanted 
But what were Colombian women looking for? And why were they so eager to meet and marry American men? Nineteen-year-old Diana lives in Soledad, a Barranquilla suburb plagued with poverty and crime. It's a place Diana wants to leave behind, and marrying an American could be her way out. Hi, Diana. I'm so Lisa. Diana. Hi. She lives in a cramped, dark apartment with her parents and little brother. There's no air conditioning and little privacy. Mi cuarto mío con mi hermanito. Tu y tu hermano. Mi hermano pequeño. Okay. Diana and her little brother sleep in here. Diana has a role model. Her aunt is happily married to a California man she met through an agency and thinks her niece should marry an American too. Why are you looking for an American husband? Is part of the reason why, because you just, you want a better life and want to live in America? I've heard great things about American men. They value women a lot. They also respect them, and most importantly, they are faithful. Men from here, they only think of partying and nothing else. They also don't appreciate women. They never think of going out for ice cream, going to the movies, or hanging out at the beach. I don't really like the men from here. <laughs> like Celia, Diana seems disenchanted by Colombian men. Tonight at the AFA Social, she hopes to attract the attention of a foreign suitor. While getting ready, she and her friend Rosa fantasize about the perfect American man. But to me, it seems like just that, a fantasy. Mamita, ¿y a ti de qué te gusta el americano? ¿Lo que más te gusta del rostro del americano? Pues los ojos, tiene unos ojos muy preciosos. La mayoría tienen los ojos como azules, verdes, tienen unos ojos divinos. Me gustan los hombres blancos, altos, que son bien perfiles fileños, tienen unos labios delgados, rosaditos. Diana has never been in love before, but she hopes tonight to meet the man of her dreams. But just how far away are these dreams of hers from reality? Makeup, hair, wardrobe. Like Diana, Karen's preparing to meet her prince and hopefully transform her life. I feel anxious. I really like to find someone I like. <laughs> Karen needs to stand out at the social tonight. She'll be in a room with only 10 men and almost 100 women. Her sister has hand sewn a dress especially for the occasion. Like everything else, it must be perfect. But the dress has shrunk in the wash. This is a competition. And one has to feel confident because how one feels is how people will see you. I couldn't help but think that Karen and the other women were setting themselves up for disappointment. But unable to find what they're looking for here in Colombia, they simply wanted more. Whether it was the promise of a better life, escape from political instability, a faithful husband, or all of these things. They're hoping to find this kind of fantasy existence in America, and they're willing to stake their whole livelihoods and future on these men. Hopefully that fantasy will be fulfilled, but it seems like a pretty big risk to me um, for someone who's from a, a, a small village in Barranquilla. I'd like to believe that the men on these tours want more than just a good time, and David gives me hope. I think I'm a nice person. I listen to people. I think I'm a good friend. If I'm in love with somebody, I'm affectionate, and I love to laugh. That's my favorite thing. I don't think you're fulfilled unless you have somebody to love, and we love back. I mean, that's what life's all about. <laughs>
is having that love in your life. Actually, I'm getting a little nervous right now, but that's a good thing. I have no idea what to expect. A little intimidating at first. Dating can be scary, but David's about to meet almost a hundred women. With these odds, will he finally meet someone he connects with? And what about the women? The chances of them finding someone to marry are far less. There are only 10 men. Hola, tu nombre? Karen. Karen. Hola, Karen. Hola. <laughs> The socials are the highlight of the marriage tour. It's a private, invitation-only event staged by AFA, with 10 women lined up for every one man. But even though excitement's in the air, will David, Karen, or Diana actually meet the love of their life tonight? Nearly 100 stunning Colombian women, all competing for 10 American men. The women seem pretty laid back. Many of them have been to events like this before. They know each other and chat. But the men are about to walk into a room full of opportunity, and there's a sense of anticipation in the air. The men here tonight will meet each and every woman. Every 15 minutes, they will rotate to the next table. Les voy a presentar unos caballeros espectaculares con un, una personalidad increíble y sobre todo deseosos de buscar a esa persona que con la cual quieren compartir el resto de su vida. So we're going to start now. You're going to table number one. So you can go. Having so many people all in one room who are both single and who want to get married should increase the odds of finding someone. But will it really work? <laughs> this really is the wildest thing. I feel like I'm in a high school dance, but actually even more awkward. <laughs> David finds himself surrounded by gorgeous women. Not a bad situation for an ordinary guy, but he still needs to impress um, them. What are what are three characteristics that a man you'd like to have? Okay. Él quiere que ustedes le mencionen tres características que quisieran encontrar en un hombre. Understanding, loyal, loyal, and very loving. And I'm none of those. I'm joking. Que no ninguna de las tres. Estaba bromeando, dice. But what can a man really learn about a table full of five women in less than 15 minutes? She said that her name is Tatiana. Tatiana. Um, Tatiana. How tall is she? Excellent. Perfecto. I love it. What surprises me most is that amid the superficialities, both men and women seem to be making a genuine effort to get to know each other. Is everybody here from Barranquilla? Born and raised here. I would like to have your impression as Colombian citizens of your opinion of the U.S. It's a kind of organized country. Or do you need more of uh, family values? You're right. Why are they here today? Okay, <laughs> Despite the stereotype of the submissive woman who can't speak English, the ladies here tonight are getting to know the men too, and they have their own set of standards. I just think of myself as an average guy, average height, average looks, average weight. Just, just an average. Nice guy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she says that in spite of being an average guy, yeah. you have been married twice. Yes. So, yeah, she says that that's not something that happens to an average guy, you know. They say that now they expect you not to commit any more mistakes. No. Or else it will be your, My your fault. <laughs> As the evening wears on, things get a little loose. Diana has drawn the attention of a man easily twice her age, Lamar. This is another beautiful lady 
from Colombia. Very, very attractive, great personality, and just a beautiful smile. This is what makes. Gracias. This is what makes the guys from the U.S. just die to come to <laughs> Colombia and and meet someone like this. <laughs> Okay. And I'm trying to buy a larger suitcase so I can put her in my suitcase and take her home. <laughs> Give her a photo. Smile. <laughs> She's got beautiful teeth. Okay. I don't know if there's anything we'll, you know, develop, but I'm sure going to pursue it. Yeah, I know how old she is. She's 20. And I asked her if it presented a problem, and she said no. Only time will tell. Diana. Huh? ¿Qué piensas? Eh, no sé todavía. Se ve como muy mayor que yo. Se ve como mayor. No se ve bien, pienso yo. No, no sé, no se ve como muy bien. De pronto me gusta hacer cosas que a él no le gusten porque ya eres mayor. Entonces no, no creo que... Diana is clearly not interested in Lamar. Many of the men, however, do find girlfriends on these tours and get engaged. Some new couples get married just days after meeting, others up to a few weeks or months later. Okay, vale. Como le estaba diciendo, él tiene 49 años, eh, se ha casado dos veces, divorciado. Y eh, está aquí básicamente porque él piensa que la tercera es la vencida. Bueno, entonces vamos a comenzar con okay, María. Mi nombre es María Cristina. ¿Qué es mi María Cristina? Tengo 40 años. She's 40 years old. Tengo una nena de 9 años, hermosa como su madre. <laughs> She has a very beautiful daughter, just like her mother. <laughs> She's very humble. Que muy humilde. <laughs> Maria Cristina defies the stereotype of the young, desperate woman just looking for a fiancé visa to America. She likes to flirt, uh -oh. uh, but to conquer that, that special person. <laughs> yes, she's beautiful, but she's also a successful businesswoman. She's not looking for someone to rescue her. She's looking for a mature relationship. You're quite successful and independent, and you have so much going for yourself. What are you looking for in a man? More than anything, for him to be gentlemanly and respectful of women's virtues. Because here we don't find that in Barranquilla. The men don't respect women's values. I don't see physical beauty. I'm seeking interior beauty. Physical beauty takes a back seat when you find someone who truly is beautiful inside. The rest doesn't count. It seems to me that Maria Cristina could be a good fit for David if he's open to raising another child. Maria has a nine-year-old daughter. My fantasy is to be a little old lady holding onto my husband's hand. I think that I've made it all come true. To be a mother, to work, but I'm missing the fantasy of having a man who truly loves me. Yes, that is the fantasy I lack. One in particular? One in particular. Perfect. But for Karen, over at table four, there are only two men left to meet, 
and no one's asked her out on a date. It's okay. I speak no Spanish. No, but it's okay. So how long have you been a cosmetologist? How long? Two years. Have you found anyone interesting? No. <laughs> really? No. Really? Porque no. no. I don't know. So are you feeling disappointed that you haven't felt chemistry with anyone? No tanto desilusionada, pero sí me gustaría encontrar como química para ponerle un poquito de emoción a la vida en estos momentos. Y Karen. Karen. Sí. Karen has one last chance to walk away with a date. Uh, I am 25 years old. I have a daughter. She is one year and five months. Yes. Very pretty, intelligent, very energy, <laughs> much energy. I live with, with my grandmother, brother and sister. And the baby. Before the tour ends, the 10 men will meet almost 200 more women. But for Karen, the show is over. David is having better luck tonight. His interpreter has asked Maria Cristina for a date, and there's good news. Thank you. Hi, gracias. Yeah, gracias it. por invitarme. Yes. Thank you for inviting her. Oh, yes. I, I look forward to getting to know you. <laughs> Nos vemos mañana. Let's see, okay. you see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, she said. Yes, very okay. good. In five months, there's another marriage tour. More American men will fly to Colombia hoping to find wives. But tonight, Karen leaves disappointed. Colombia. This morning is David and Maria Cristina's first date, a tour of Barranquilla. I feel like a chaperone, but I'm curious to see how a date with two people who don't speak the same language will go. Yeah. My house, my house. Oh wow, pretty, beautiful area. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I can't help but notice, in no time at all, yes. they're holding hands. <laughs> Whiskey. Toma buenas fotos. Buenas. Yes. I had to wonder if the attraction between them had to do with the fact that they didn't fully understand each other. I checked in with David's translator, Catalina. After translating hundreds of dates, maybe she had some perspective to offer. Do you get the sense that even though they don't speak the same language, they're communicating well? Mm -hmm. But I think it's a little bit too soon to tell if they're going to get married. So far, I know there's chemistry because they have kissed each other. They, they were holding They hands. what? Yeah. They, they did. kissed each other? Yes. Did you see it? Yeah, I didn't take a picture. And, uh, and I missed the, the picture, so they kissed each other again for me to take the picture. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, so trying to, trying to hide there is from us. <laughs> <laughs> They've known each other for less than a day and they're already sneaking away to kiss. Very good. Good to talk with you. Back of the bus, Maria Cristina puts David on the phone with okay. her daughter, introducing him as her friend. With her daughter. Talking to the daughter already. <laughs> He said, Mommy, I get up in this. <laughs> she wanted to know what time her mommy was getting home. Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> I met up with David and Maria Cristina the next morning. Things seem to be getting serious. Maria Cristina has brought along her nine year old daughter, Daniela. It's kind of confirmation that if you're really into someone, you may be a little bit more flexible than you thought you might be. This is my neighborhood where I live. 
So how? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, my daughter. Bonita. <laughs> Cuanto? Cuanto, age uh, 19. 19. Yeah, 19. Ah. Yes. And so here we are, back on the bus where this whole story started, heading out for a romantic day at the beach. I'm surrounded by couples. And I remember AFA's website listed almost 800 engagements in just the last six months. But the organization can't tell me how many of those couples actually ended up getting married. I spoke with AFA co-founder Ken Aji, who insisted it was all about love. Ken's a believer because he's happily married to a Russian woman he met through AFA 12 years ago. Uh, looks like we have several guys seem like they're falling in love. Uh, how do you know, Ken? How, how, how do you know? I mean, you've been doing this for a long time. How can you tell when someone's actually falling in love over lust? And, I mean, I think there's a perception that these are sex tours. And if they wanted to do a sex tour, they could do it for much less. They can go to Thailand or Costa Rica and they wouldn't have to pay us all the money to go through our service. You know, we're really selling the opportunity to find happiness forever. And we get letters all the time from both the men and the women that just say, you were so wonderful, I can't believe this, you changed my life, you made my dreams come true. We're selling the opportunity to find love. So many people seem to be in love with the idea of love, and Ken was selling some pretty big dreams. True love is an elusive thing, and there's no one recipe for how to find it. Recognize, see, ah, see, see. see. Remarkably, in just a few days, something sweet seems to be developing between David and Maria Cristina. But was it real? And would it last? As the week comes to a close, I checked in on Karen one last time. Buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. Como le Bien. <laughs> So how was Saturday at the social? So-so. Uh, so. I don't see a good man for me. Karn's night at the social wasn't entirely positive, but she plans to keep her profile up on the AFA website, hoping to attract a foreign husband. I'm going to stay signed up with the agency because they can see my profile. If they want to meet me, then they can come directly to me. But I don't want to go to an event where I have to sit with other women and be thinking the whole time, what does this guy want or what another wants? It's like putting yourself in a display where if someone likes you, they choose you. And sometimes I feel like I don't have a right to choose. It can feel like one is a piece of merchandise for sale. Karen's experience seems discouraging, but she hasn't lost hope. Everyone was made to find another person. I think that I just haven't found the ideal man, but I still do believe in love. I can never stop believing in love, because then I'd be an unhappy person. Christina, things have turned out differently. And little do I realize, I'm in for a pretty big surprise. Buenos dias! Buenos dias! Hi! 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 How are you? <laughs> David! David what? Oh. David is here? Hi! How are you? <laughs> surprise! <laughs> Did, did you just get here, or were you here last night? No, she picked me. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, that's, 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 that's it, it's really quick. Okay. Okay. Right, right. I am in complete shock. They seem to have fallen for each other in less than one week. Sí, me gusta mucho. Yo espero que resulte porque yo me veo envejecida ya con él. Sí. 
<laughs> moment. <laughs> oh, she's getting emotional. Maria Cristina leaves the table in tears. She's getting really emotional. Has it been emotional like that between the two of you? Uh -huh. Yes. You can really feel it. I, to I actually told her it would be very easy to fall in love with her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo soy muy sentimental. I know, I'm getting emotional too because I'm just watching you two look at each other. I mean, there's that indescribable thing that's happening between you guys. I think it has a very strong possibility that she's my life partner. I mean, when it's the right woman, it's the right woman. You don't question it. You just know. Ayer cuando nos besábamos, este... <laughs> una electricidad tremenda que uno no sabe que puede sentir por una persona que lleva conociendo tan poquito tiempo y con él es como si wow te conozco desde hace rato y nos conectamos bastante Who knows if David and Maria's relationship will work out in the end but I have to admit I'm hopeful for them Well you know I don't think you could have written the story I I never imagined it What uh fate 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 English dinner. <laughs> Destino. Ah? Huh? Yeah, see. See, that's fate. Yeah. So is it fair to say that you two are boyfriend girlfriend now? See. Si. Esas ah. novio y novia. Ha <laughs> ha, yo creo. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this is to be continued, huh? You see. <laughs> Hopefully, ends very good. Life together would be very good. Tea. Eh, just get wet. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> Was this love at first sight? And would the relationship survive long distance? Okay. It'll stop. In the end, I was left with questions. Would the men who paid for these marriage tours really find lasting relationships? Would the Colombian women like Karen ever meet their American Prince Charming? The trip had come to an end, and I was still left wondering, would anybody's dreams really come true?